they've loaded it on a land air trailer. Is what they, can they cross dock it, pull it off, throw it on mine? Because I got to be there at 7 a.m. It'll be, it'll be hours before they do that. Hours before they do that. That's what Okay, first load after the 4th of July holiday. We're stocked up on peanut butter and Nutri-Green bars. Let's get over to the truck in our freshly tuned giveaway truck. She's run so good now. We got it tuned today. Tuesday, there's a video from yesterday. It shows all that. Concrete has still not been poured. Looks like a beautiful day to do it, but they're backed up. So they're coming Monday, next week. So six days from now. And T-Dubs went ahead and... Uh, Pressure washed one of the rags, <coughs> not rags, rugs, and I just dropped a peanut butter. There we go. Uh, that I guess the dog was peeing on, so T's and T's for T dubs and for our concrete. Let's get over to the rigs. This one's always saying goodbye to me. <laughs> Later, little dude. Love ya. Your gauges are awesome. Let's get over there. Bye bye, big boy. <laughs> the only gauge that doesn't work, he said I might have a sending unit problem. It's a good old fuel gauge of all things. I might need that. <laughs> so we gotta take the uh, tank back down or pull the bed off and see if we got something in there that's wrong because it, it, it measures ohms off of the ground so let's see what we got going on right now let's get this fired up oh wait first gotta turn the batteries on and this big old girl we should have seats this week because um fourth of july put us back again seems like it's not one thing it's another but they should look good we're gonna have right across the back of the middle seat we'll have this logo and then we'll have just this logo and then this headrest of the seats. So. Can't wait to get it going. Oh yeah, beautiful day today. Well, we were making good time and then uh, we hit the construction coming into Asheville. If you've ever run up 26, went up to Asheville, Knoxville, uh, Cleveland, Tennessee area. You know what I'm talking about. At least we got old glory up there. Had a great 4th of July. I hope you guys all did too. Got some great fireworks and some pretty awesome weather. So can't complain, can't ask for much else. Just to get up here and make some money. And we have packaging going down to Hartwell. So typically packaging is pretty, uh, pretty light, but maybe it's all congregated cardboard or something. Civic, what are you doing? Come on. Let's go. We'll see what we're getting though, but I've been up here before. I think I know where I'm going. Uh, Sunoco Recycling. So they're up, open pretty late. It's open till 11 for pickup and it's 7.30 right now. So we're within 100, just under 100 miles to get there. As long as this traffic clears up, we should be good. Deliver at 7 a.m. and reset the clock and look for something else. But they are right back the way they were. Loads are through the roof the driver shortage is getting worse so stick to your guns and if you've got your own truck and you've paid your dues to have your own authority or you're leasing with somebody else you're running under their authority uh, know your worth stuff needs to move in this world and we're a select few owner operators out here spot market people that can uh can make a decent living because of what we've gone through and like, the risk that we take a lot of people don't want that risk and that's that's a different mindset and if you do want to take that risk Make it work for you. Northbound scale's closed, but southbound. Got the Amazon trailer. Must have just, well, it's a JP Hunt truck pulling an Amazon trailer. Maybe he didn't stop completely. I don't know. Tees and peace for him. And tees and peace for us. Get this pickup. And they're still awake. They're still open. Hopefully. Coming through this North Carolina Tennessee corridor when you cross the state line, uh, do not pass if it says don't pass uh, semis. Stay in the right lane, truck stay in the right lane. Uh, because just back there about two miles ago, 
green truck Volvo, I didn't catch the name of him, but a small company, uh, passed a couple of trucks in a row, and a little gold, uh, state trooper came right out and got him, and uh, he was pulled over right before the rest area back there, so the T's and B's for him, and just don't, uh, don't pass where it says don't pass, yeah, you might get away with it a couple times, but you know, one time you come around a bend, the state trooper might get you, so sucks to go slow sometimes, but that's what they say to do. See if we can hold our breath. <laughs> well, I guess if I'm talking, I'm not holding my breath. So my sons like to do that though with T dubs. The reason I take a lot of my loads. If you're new to the channel, guys, thanks for subscribing. Thanks for being around. If you you've been here since we were 500 subs, um, the reason I take these loads that go you might wonder why I take the deadhead up. It's because it's light going up the mountain, and I can come back down the mountain heavy if it is actually 40,000 pounds. Um, and he gets it back home. So I'll deliver at 7 a.m. and I'll be 40 miles from my house. So I can go back home and play the waiting game to see if they need something else moved. Because this load didn't pop up on the board till 4.35 o'clock at night. And um, I just popped it in there and there's a bunch of other stuff I was bidding on throughout the day and that's kind of how I do it. I'm trying to get back home, spend some time with my kids and my wife and um, look up to see what's gonna pay for the loads to see what they need to have moved. Because it's all about when it, Time crunch comes down and they haven't moved it for a whole week or the last week, then they'll pay you what they need to pay to get it going to that one place that either they don't have enough trucks to go to or it's a bad place to go to. It's a bad lane, it's a bad destination with nothing coming out of it. So, floor loads are always kind of like that, but sometimes in the middle of these West Virginia, Virginia, middle of areas in North Carolina kind of places, they, they need these loads picked up. So, thought I'd talk to you guys a little bit while we had this beautiful uh, landscape at the sunset. It's kind of Kind of cool. I hope it shows up on the phone for you. And we are almost to our exit. Old exit 435. And this front left or front right headlight, it'll work sometimes and sometimes it won't. Both the bulbs look perfect, so I don't know if it's a connection or what, because I checked the little connector that plugged in. Disconnected and reconnected it, but nothing happened. To see what's going on, maybe, maybe just the higher filament of the uh, bulb it flashes when you turn the blinker on. Maybe one of those is out or something. Gotta check those bulbs. But we're here, 9:15, and let's see what Sunoco has to say. And then we'll get back to Weagles and uh, maybe sleep there. Get some food. I don't know if I need to reset. I might just go all the way back down because I have plenty of clock. We shall see. Yeah, this is exactly where I was before. And the last time I was here, probably over a year ago, I actually ended up not getting loaded because uh, there's so many trucks in line waiting and they said it was gonna be six, seven hours. So I just took a toenail and went home, I think, or picked up a load somewhere else. Paper only, slow. Uh, notice visitor sign at the office, okay. We got going on. We got people coming, people going. We got one guy in the office. So we'll see what they got to say. Hey, hey, hey. So you got to turn your engine off. So we'll turn it off.
How you doing, bud? I got one going down to Hartwell, Georgia. Hartzel? Hartwell, yeah. Uh, uh, you a Lander driver? Or? Uh, I'm just a uh, Uber freight contracted spot market load, a, a live load. They've got every kind of number in the country down there on that. You know. Oh, good. As a, it says some kind of packaging, 18 count going to Rock Rock 10 or something. 10 Rock. It's an Oakville Hey, bud. Uh, this, I got a guy up here in the city of Uber Freight picking up one going to Heart Cell. Hartwell. Hartwell. Hartwell, Georgia. Georgia. You know anything about that? Rock 10 was the customer. Ring. Rock 10, that might be the paper mill side, might be. All right, sir. Trailer? 531-446. First name? Justin. RMT. Let's talk right now. Okay. And, but you'll you'll be next when you. When you get back there. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. You're sitting right here. Yep. All right. See them docks right down there. Yep. All right. That's dock number one, two, and three. All right. You're gonna drive right past them and go to dock number four. Okay. All right. You if there's nobody in dock four, you back in dock four. If there is somebody there, get as close to the building as you can. Just right here for this wait for him. All right. And you'll go in after him. Mm -hmm. All right. When you get loaded, they'll give you a green light. You'll be looking at the scales right there when you when you get over there. Okay. You want to check your weight? You can. Okay. Right there, turn around, come back, park right here alongside this yellow rail. Okay. You'll walk right down here between the buildings. Okay. There's a blue line painted on the ground. You'll see it when you get down there. Okay. Follow it into the office, there's nobody in there. But your bills, there'll be three sets of them. will either be on a table or on a clipboard. Okay. Just sign one, leave it there. The other two are yours, and you're ready to go. No seal? No, no. no seal. No okay. Seal. You don't have to stop back by here or nothing. So, Doctor Four, scale if you want. Go get your bills, leave one. Yes, sir. All right, man. Thank you. All right, thank you. Have a good day. Two. You out of here? No. Oh. Uh, Am I green? Walk up to the guard shop. Oh, okay. They said that they loaded your load on another trailer they loaded my load on another trailer that's i didn't do it y'all that's trucking guys that's trucking <laughs> so we go up there and then i guess they're gonna unload it and i guess we'll figure out what we're doing. he's gonna get you another load number all right cool <laughs> thanks a lot man see you later so you guys are gonna hang out with me while i find out the uh, load number <laughs> he let me know <laughs> he's like hey man i got the wrong number <laughs> He said, hey, man, load your, you're, you're loading somebody else's trailer. All right. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I was. The, the number you gave me is already loaded on another trailer. But, okay. Um, you might want to call and see if you can get another number. Okay. And uh, I, I, that's all I can tell you, man. I, I, uh, okay, so just call Uber Freight, which is an overseas company. <laughs> oh, wow. And yeah. then uh, see if I can get a new load, load number. Yeah. Otherwise, I can't get loaded tonight. Well. Uh, is it the same kind of stuff going someplace or? Yeah, it's, it's, they've loaded it on a land air trailer. Is what can, can they cross dock and pull it off, throw it on mine? Because I got to be there at 7 a.m. It'll be, it'll be hours before they do that. Hours before they do that. That's what they just told me. Okay. Well, all right, let me call them and I'll probably just get a truck order not used and head back down the mountain. But let and me see. I, what... I really apologize for aggravating you. No, no, you don't aggravate me, but I just want to know what's going on. So. Uh, I'll come back to you and see what they say. They're, they're going to give me the whole, I'll call you back in a couple hours. Hang on premises, but we'll see what they say. All right. All right. Uh, but, uh, so come back. How late are you going to be here? I'll be here at 6 in the morning. I was going to say, let me get your number. All right. Uh, and if you don't hear... So they came back on the phone and said, yeah, we'll give you the tonu. Uh, wait for the email before we leave the facility. But I had a missed call, so we're going to 
see what he had to say also. Four or five hours, it may not happen at all. Okay, just to get more product? Well, no. They have they would have to take it off the other trailer. See, they're having to take it off the line as it comes off the uh -huh. trailer. Yeah. They just don't have, and one of them's already down, so. Okay. It happened, it might happen four or five hours, and again, it may not happen at all. Yeah, and I got to be down there at seven for the drop, so might as well go back home. Let you know, I right. leave you no worries, man. Thank you. Have a good night. Take care. So, yeah, they got to uh, pull it off another truck, so we're just going to go home. We're not going to deal with that. Maybe four or five hours, and then be delivering three or four or five hours after that. You wouldn't get any sleep because you'd be constantly worried about when are they going to do it or if they're going to do it at all. So, we'll go home. Unfortunate, but like as they always say, that's trucking. Let's get home and see what tomorrow brings. Uh, what's up? <laughs> Dada. Ooh. Dada. Ooh. Dada. 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 <laughs> 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 you think you can get away? <laughs> So all the loads from yesterday are back up today. T-Dubs is doing a cleaning day. How's it going with these crazies? Huh? I like your move to get down the stairs. Yeah, super Yep. Um, but we might take another Lowe's load, who knows? And they did give us $150 for good old uh, wasting of a night. So let's see if we get something today. And that load is back up today. Um, I think maybe they just didn't want to load it last night. I don't Hi, baby. Because uh, it was late, but they changed the pickup time. <laughs> but the pickup time is before the uh, delivery time, so we'll deal with that sometimes. But whatever. We got down here now. And uh, we'll see what we can get. Bye bye. We'll see what we can get. Good nap. And go store with Mama. You give give fluff off. Oh yeah. Well, we got a load, guys. This one's going to the store with T Dubs, and I'm gonna go take the other two for a little bit of a Boom. trip with me to pick up. Okay, I'll hold you. I'll hold you. Okay. Oh, all right, guys, we're going to cut the video here and uh, start a new video heading up to PA. And if you want to check out a little FMCSA action, T-Dubs went live on her channel today and talked a little bit about MC150. And thanks so much for getting these guys to 1,000 subscribers on 3BB. <laughs> but this one's waking up. God bless you guys. Check out Just Shop.